Hello YouTube and welcome to episode 4 of my Let's Play Morrowind series. Right now we're outside of the Ghost Gate here in Morrowind. Uh, when I, since I've been gone I've just been using the 30 grand that I got from selling items to the scam to just level up my uh, characters. It's level 11 now. Leveled up some stats, heavy armor, long blade. Almost maxed out my endurance because that's the most important. Uh, okay so... If you're wondering why my stats are so high from leveling only up to 11, it's because I'm using the that leveling mod that perfects the leveling system in Mormon because, like, face it, like, earlier levels when you level, the leveling system's so crap. Like, yeah, anyways. No cheating at all. Uh, why are we here? Why are we at the Ghost Gate? Because we are going to get an ancient artifact. Uh, a bow, basically. It's called Aurel Aurel's Bow. Uh, why do we need that bow? Mm, because I'm going to use it. No, I'm not going to use it. It's because we need that bow to exchange for two really cool items, and I'll tell you more about that. So the owner of this bow is this man over here, Raylan Orth Orthrevel. And how are we going to kill him without everybody in this uh, temple attacking us? Well, we're just going to use taunt. So good old taunt. Okay, so that failed. So basically. What taunt does is it taunts your enemies, your NPC that you're using, and each time it successes, uh, their fight rises, uh, gets raised. Okay, so there's a, a success here, two successes in a row. Okay, so once their fight is, uh, once you taunt them enough, there's gonna be instead of like when it says taunt success here, it says you would lose. Uh, they'll it'll pop up and say that does it and they'll lose their head like they lose their uh, temper They go like that does it and then they'll hit you first and in Morrowind if someone hits you first you have by all rights to uh, Kill and defend yourself, right? So we're just gonna keep taunting this guy. Oh I only have uh, 1200 gold. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna work anyways taunt taunt oh my god it's just failing I only have 900 more gold. Come on! Taunt fail. You're an Enwa. That's right. You're an Enwa. Okay, you can't hear me, but... Wow, it just keeps... N and no teeth at all, really? Is that all he's gonna say to me? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. I can feel it. I got this. 600 gold left. We can... Okay, there's another one. I think one more. One more taunt success and we'll be good okay go away 400 more gold oh my goodness okay here we go we got it we got it we got the taunt success that does it so he lost his cool now it says goodbye you click on it and he's gonna start attacking you so oh what the heck oh I'm losing my HP sorry uh, here we go Gonna use hard heal. He hit me with a powerful poison attack, and I had to use my hard heal. I summoned my bow marker to help me out. This should be a easy fight after he uses all his spells. I'm just gonna kill my bow marker. Yeah, and here we are. Legendary artifact, Oriel's bow, two to fifty damage. The strongest bow in Morrowind, I think. Got my gold back, and I'm gonna take and the enderal armor because it is worth quite a bit of gold it's gonna get me back in the gold game nah I don't need that basically hmm oh am I sneaked right now okay since I'm just gonna quick save just in case since I'm sneaked right now I'm just gonna steal the other two items. Uh, one's a helmet and one's a shield. Shield's worth 2,000, helmet's worth 3,000. Oh, definitely worth it. And every time I do an illegal act, before I do a le an illegal act, I usually uh, save the game. Okay, so we're outside the temple. And I did pick up an Alm Sabi Intervention spell from the temple in Balmora. Uh, you gotta go to the lower levels and talk to one of the priests and she'll have one for sale. Uh, Aldrin, okay, this is perfect, okay. So we're at Aldrin and now we have to... 
Uh, we need to go to a place called Mornholm, which you guys should be familiar with. If you're not familiar with, it's an expansion pack that wh where you have to go to. Uh, it starts off with the Dark Brotherhood attacking you, and you want to find out who's attacking you and stuff. Okay. My journal's been updated. I got attacked by the Dark Brother. And when you get attacked by the Dark Brotherhood, it tells you in your journal that you should uh, talk to someone about it, uh, preferably a guard. And when you talk to a guard about it, he'll, he'll tell you to talk to someone in Ebenhard. So you got to make the trip to Ebenhard. I'm not going to do any quests in Mornhold. I'm just going there for uh, business reasons. And by business reasons, I mean uh, starting up a topic. Okay. Travel to Vivek. And we're gonna take the little ship down there to uh, Ebenhard. Oh wow, it's really cool graphics. Anyways, go to Ebenhard and then transport to Mornhold by one of the mages. And then you want to go to the museum in Godsend. If you guys aren't familiar, just I'll, I'll walk you through obviously. So here we go, we're gonna go to Ebenhard. Ebenhard or Ebony? Ebony, so Ebenhard. Okay, Ebenhard. Okay, it's a really cool statue. Really nice view. Vivek's right there too. I thought it was pretty far, but it's so close. This is the temple of Vivek. Oh, that's a cute little Bosmer. I wonder how many hits it takes to kill him. <laughs> Just joking. Okay. So here we go. We need to talk to a like a like the boss of guards, not the boss boss of guards, like, or one of the one of the bosses of the guards. He got pretty cool armor going on. Not my thing, but pretty cool. He's right there. It looks like steel armor, but it's adamantium. Yeah, I said it right. Adamantium steel or iron? I forgot. Looks way better than steel armor. I'll give him that. And it's medium, so dark brotherhood mainland. Okay, so you just bring up the topic, and then once your journal gets updated. Ooh, who is that? Jonas Maximus. That is such a royal name. I like the whole Imperial Legion, like, upper class royal uh, armor pieces. Anyways, you go to Grand Council Chambers in Ebenhard, and then you look for a Mage Lady in red right here. And then you go, you click Transport to uh, Mournhold, and you tell them, I fear I've been marked, I wish to investigate. Goodbye. Okay, and then she'll transport you to Mournhold. And Mournhold's gonna be totally different. These are the guards right here. The royal guards. Like, looks like some, as soon as I came here, I thought this was Star Wars. <laughs> we got the Empire. We, we got the Juju. <laughs> I think that's his name, right? Juju, that, that weird looking creature. And then we got the Star Troopers. <laughs> I swear to God, I thought it was Star Wars. Anyways, okay, we're out here. We need to go to Godsend Temple Courtyard. I don't think that's it. It's over here. Mars mercy on you. I don't need mercy. Okay, so you want to go to Plaza of Bistorum. I can't pronounce it correctly, so I'm not even going to try because I know I can't. Okay. It's a 50 50 guess right now. I think this one. Okay, so once you get out of the here, there's. You, there's Two doors you can take, left or right, and you want to go to the door that says Godsend. So, please? Oh, I mean God's Reach. Why did I say Godsend? Yeah, God's Reach. And once you get into God's Reach, you want to go to a museum. Okay, let's see. Where's the museum at here? Uh, I think it's the house right here. So, museum. Okay, so you go to the Museum of Artifacts. And with the Aurel's bow in hand. Uh, okay, you. Okay, so I do have the Lord's Mail. Let's see, artifacts. Okay, so. Aurel's bow, in interesting. Is that Ashim's I small? I can offer you 15,000 gold if you wish. It's your choice. Uh, I. So you bring up the topic, and as soon as, the, as, soon as you. Like. You always uh, keep your item, don't sell it, okay? So you bring up the topic. As soon as that's topics uh, done with, I wonder where arms of intervention takes you. Oh, right to the temple. Okay, so what you now want to do is you want to go back to uh, Morrowind. Uh, th this is still Morrowind, but not in Mornhold. Like back to uh, where you came from. So where's this place? 
temple courtyard, so I came from here then. Here we go. I came from here. So you bring up the topic with the lady up there. I mean the lady in the museum artifacts. And then now you want to get transported. So we need to find Juju. Shit. Where is Juju? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You too, bro. Um, fuck. I haven't been here in a while. Reception area. Yes, this is the area. Uh, this is, you know, this is, this is the duster woman. I think it's downstairs. Okay, some more star troopers. Okay, so you talk the Ar to the Argonian FET. Transport to Vanderfell. Yeah, okay, he, boom. And then he's going to transport you back to Ebenhard. Oh, I'm so lost right now. Okay, so once you're at Ebenhard, you take the door out. There's Jonas Maximus. Looks like time never even, like, huh. It's still nighttime. Anyways, so the topic's been brought up already. Now we're going to we're gonna go to Therana, uh, one of the boss ladies in Talvani, and since we have the topic brought up by Aurel Aurelia's bow, uh, we can give it to her in exchange for five thousand gold. And why would we exchange it for five thousand gold instead of the fifteen thousand gold? It's because it she also gives you two unbelievable armor pieces like actually unbelievable so I'm not gonna tell you yet. you guys are gonna find out in like three minutes so like deal with it right <laughs> okay so I'm gonna go back to Vivek uh, why am I not gonna go to tell tell Brano right away where she's located because these Talvani um, structures you're gonna need a rising force potion which is basically a levitation system either a spell or a potion and I right now have neither so I'm gonna go to the mages guild in Balmore like every time I go to the fighters guild or mages guild I always have to go to Balmore it feels like my like hometown it's like where I grew up even though I just came here as an outlander it just feels like this where I've <laughs> grown up okay so we're almost there it is gonna be totally worth it this trip that you guys are about to do if you guys follow this walkthrough to get these two uh, armor pieces it's gonna be totally worth it like trust me like trust just trust just watch it just watch so get down here okay so the the person with the rising force potion is gonna be this Khajiit right here she's gonna have one uh, Start from the top. Oh, here we go. Rising force potion. Thirty-five gold. Right? Not no big deal. Thirty-five gold uh, rises you up for uh, thirty seconds. That's all you need. You only need like five seconds max. You just need to get up there. Excuse me. And you can just jump down. It's not that big of a fall. It's just getting up there. So if you do take damage, just heal yourself with like heart heal or a potion. It's not a big deal. You can even rest, right? So. It's all about getting up there. Now we're going to go back to Vivek, and we're going to take the little boat. Do they have a name? Oh, sweet, look. And the Dwemer ruins. So cool. Anyways, uh, I don't think they have a boatman. I'll call them boatman. Travel. Go to Vivek. Same low price. Wow. Amazing. I really like the waters, the shiny parts of the waters. It makes it look that much more realistic. Anyways, um, okay, so go up here, travel, and you go hit tell Branora. We're almost here. You, you don't worry. You guys are gonna find out what the armor piece is. Actually, two. So you get off at tell Branora, and you just walk along this way. You're gonna see, okay, these these people, uh, fuck. She has beef with the Rena, and she brought her back up. Basically, long story short, <laughs> they don't like each other, they, they wanna fight, and uh, she brought her back up, and she's waiting outside. I think there's a quest along it that you have to do. Totally forgot, but yeah. Okay, so you take the left up here. She's in the upper tower, the Rena. So you can get there with the lower tower. That is a holy crap. Was that a lobster? 
this is the lower tower, so it, it'll just take a little bit more time if you start from the lower tower. Might as well start from the upper tower because it's right there. Okay. Careful not to fall. Oh, well, it's foggy today. Okay, so here we go. We're at the upper tower here. Go inside, and then there's going to be a little entrance you can go through right here. And then once you get here, you're going to look for a place where you can level tape up. Nope. Nope. Oh, not yet. This door. Theranus chamber. Okay, here we go. So this is the chamber. And yeah, okay, so you want to drink that rising force potion and whew, you go straight up. Uh, 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 she's not here. She's here. Okay, nice. Totally guessed that. Okay, so now she's here. I'm just going to quick save, you know, just in case. And now you, you talk to her. And now she'll have the topic or else. You need, I stress, you need to go to Mournhold and you need to talk to the Museum of Artifacts lady and hit Aurelia's bow and say keep item in order for this topic to show up on Therena. Because if you don't and you just go straight to Therena after getting the bow, you're just going to waste complete time and you have to go back to Mournhold. It, I don't know why, but it's just like that. So hit Aurelia's bow and then Ashams, give her Aurelia's bow. Boom. If I give you a little present, will you go away and promise ever to bring me any Ashams ever again? Yes. Boom! Oriel's bow has been removed. Daedric Curse, Daedric Greaves been added to your inventory. Daedric items are the rarest items in Morrowind. And, okay. if And they're the strongest and heaviest. They are so heavy. But the thing about these two Daedric items that you get from Therena is it comes with a constant effect of 50 feather points and stuff. That means instead of weighing 90, it'll weigh 40. Instead of weighing 54, it'll just weigh 4 pounds. So these, oh my god, it is such a good enchantment on the strongest armor in the game, Daedric armor. Sweet. I'm pretty happy right now. That is so sick. That's it. And if you want the bow, you can just kill her again. But yeah, I'm thinking of about joining Telvani just because I've never done it before. I've never done a single quest for Telvani ever. Never joined the household. It was all I always chose Halalu for some reason. Okay, I'm gonna use uh, Alms of Intervention to get out my, myself out of here. Sweet. Okay, so we're in. Uh, we're in Molag more right now. Pretty over encumbered. Yeah, but there you go, guys. A simple, I think it's about 20 minutes. 20 minute guide on how to get yourself Daedric Curse and Daedric Greaves. Uh, what'd you call it? With Feather Points 50 on both. Oh my god, it's just amazing. Seriously, so worth it. So worth it. I'm so happy. So guys, I'm going to cut the video out here. I just wanted to make this episode about uh, helping you guys uh, get like really, not decent, even like really great armor in the game Pre relatively easily. If you're, look, I'm only level 11. I did it. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I promise the next episode I'll start doing more quests and more walkthrough rather than showing you guys how to get armored. Uh, thank you so much guys for watching and peace.